Acromioclavicular arthritis is a condition in which the cartilage that caps the ends of the bones where the acromion and clavicle meet is damaged and worn away. This allows the bones to grind together at the acromioclavicular joint. Acromioclavicular arthritis does not occur in younger people unless they have had an injury to the shoulder that has damaged the AC joint. The acromioclavicular joint is tender, meaning that it is painful to push on. A thorough shoulder exam should be performed to look for other sources of pain because acromioclavicular arthritis often occurs with other shoulder problems such as rotator cuff tears. The bone spurs formed by the degenerative ends of the clavicle and acromion can jut down into the rotator cuff tendons and cause impingement, chronic irritation, and eventually tears. X-rays of the acromioclavicular joint may demonstrate narrowing of the joint space and the formation of bone spurs. Acromioclavicular arthritis is initially addressed with non-operative treatment. Anti-inflammatory medications such as ibuprofen can help relieve pain and swelling. A corticosteroid injection into the joint may do so more quickly and effectively. If pain continues despite conservative treatment, a surgery known as a distal clavicle resection, or Mumford procedure, may be considered. This involves removing the end of the clavicle so it cannot rub and grind against the acromion. Distal clavicle resection can lead to a slight sensation of instability at the AC joint, but relieves the arthritic pain. If the bone spurs that result from the degeneration of the AC joint cause impingement, they are often removed surgically. This is often done arthroscopically, meaning that a small camera and instruments are inserted through keyhole incisions in the shoulder. The bone spurs are removed and the bottom surface of the acromion is smoothed out. This is known as an acromioplasty or subacromial decompression.